Hi guys, welcome to In The Glow, your destination for all things clean beauty. If you are new here, my name is Chantelle. Today I'm really excited to be reviewing one of my all-time favorite clean skincare brands, Skin Creamery. They're natural, organic, simple to use, and also proudly South African. I have six products and they have six products in their range. Today, I'm going to be re sorry, reviewing the first three, the three that I've used for the longest time. And then in the next video, I'll be reviewing the next three on my Skin Creamery shelf. So the first thing I'd like to mention is their packaging. So not only is it absolutely beautiful and will make a great addition to your bathroom counter, um, I love the fact that it's mostly glass. So it's this beautiful frosted glass, which is recyclable. So you can actually recycle them directly with the company if you have a look at their website. Not only are they recyclable, you can reuse them for any product of your liking, but also the everyday cream and the oil to milk cleanser, both of these are available in refills, which um, is a slightly discounted price. And it also encourages positive behaviors in terms of sustainability. So um, packaging is a thumbs up. They have said that they are currently um, re uh, researching new and innovative ways to reduce the amount of single use plastics in their packaging. So they're trialing some more compostable plastics. So they're constantly being mindful of their impact and working on that. So definitely a thumbs up. Um, in terms of ingredients, their ingredients are 100% vegan, they're natural, they're organic, and each ingredient is handpicked for their healing properties and the ability to penetrate the skin to get where they need to go. Um, I've had a look on the Environmental Working Group's website for Skin Creamery and it wasn't automatically loaded there, so I had to take each ingredient and look it up individually, and I must say the results were fantastic. Most of the ingredients scored a one, which is exactly what you want in terms of um, cleanliness and uh, it being non-toxic. But the only ingredients that are worth mentioning is um, rose geranium oil, which is in the cleanser and the moisturizer, and orange peel oil, which is in the cleanser, and then limonene in all three products from, uh, that I'll be reviewing today. Um, the only reason why these scored a four or well, four to five is because it could potentially cause an allergic reaction. That being said, I have a friend who is extremely allergic to limonene um, and it has to be very careful about the product she uses. She's been using um, Aesop's Parsley Seed Cleanser for a long time now. And um, once she actually tried my oil to milk cleanser from Skin Creamery and she said she loved it. She didn't react at all and actually found it really soothing and hydrating um, and switched to it. So she lives in London and every time she comes to visit, she stocks up on the cleanser and she finds it really, really good. So if you are worried and you have a really sensitive skin, just do a little patch test before you use any product. Uh, certain stores have tester bottles or little sample packets for you to try. Um, yeah, so you can try it before you buy it. But otherwise, I mean, I have sensitive skin and no problem. Um, so yeah, that's it in terms of uh, it being clean. It's absolutely amazing. So to jump into the cleanser, the cleanser is 413 Rand. It is an oil to milk cleanser, very gentle and very effective at removing makeup and any impurities. Um, highlight ingredient for me in this is the sesame seed oil, um, which is antibacterial and anti-inflammatory, which is exactly what you want in a cleanser, um, especially you know for removing those impurities and also it's hydrating, so it's not a drying cleanser at all, like the ones that would usually contain soaps and alcohol, so this doesn't contain those. Um, yeah, so this oil is also um, known to reduce the appearance of scars as it helps with the um, repairing of damaged skin. So if that's a concern of yours, then this is definitely something you would want to add to your routine. In terms of application, so if you're not familiar with oil to milk cleansers, um, it looks creamy in the bottle, but as soon as you apply it to your hand, put a bit more on there for you to see, as soon as you apply it in using gentle circular motions, it turns into a beautiful oil, um, right? So then as you lift those impurities away, 
Once you're done, you're going to add some warm water. This is what I do. Add some warm water. And as you can see, it turns into a beautiful milk which then just washes away. So that milk is what the impurities then dissolve into and wash right away. Um, and what I like about this compared to other oil uh, cleansers I've used in the past, it's really easy to remove. You don't feel like any of it is left behind on your skin. Um, and what M likes to do is actually to use this Wow Jude um, facial cloth. It's really soft and beautiful. She soaks this in warm water and then places it over her face and it almost steams her face and opens up her pores and really removes uh, every trace of the product. Um, and it's a really nice little pampering session. So if you have the time, um, I would encourage you to use that method. But if you're pushed for time, then um, just simply washing away with warm water works a treat. So fantastic cleanser. I've been using it for a very long time now. Very effective at, um, at removing everything that needs to be removed and hydrating at the same time. Okay, so now moving on to the facial hydrating oil. This was actually the very first product that I bought from Skin Creamery um, at a time where I was struggling uh, with some dry skin. So I thought, okay, a bit of uh, a boost of moisture would be good. Um, I love this oil. It's non-greasy and also it's very restorative. Um, skin Creamery themselves describe it as an omega elixir for dewy and radiant skin, which I completely agree with. Highlight ingredient here for me was the melon seed oil, which was the first time I'd ever used this particular oil, um, which is known for its uh, regeneration of the skin. And it also um, contains phytosterols, which help to maintain the barrier function of the skin. So very protective. Um, yeah, so in terms of application, it's a little bit different to other oils, as they say to, and I highly recommend this, to wet your hands quite nicely beforehand. So just make sure your hands are nice and wet. And then you apply your oil. I use two drops, M uses more. So it's all up to you and your preference. Then make sure it's nice and coated on your hands. And then you gently tap it onto your skin, making sure it's evenly applied. I'm just gonna do it onto my hand this time in nice gentle motions and nice and tap it there. And you'll see this beautiful glossy effect. So if yoga skin is your thing, then this is definitely for you. Um, it's great to use daily after cleansing. For me personally, I like to use it in the evenings after I've done my oil to milk cleanser, um, pat this onto the skin. And what I find compared to other facial oils is that it um, it's not like an oil slick on your face and you go to bed and it's on your pillowcase and you can actually feel it on your skin. It absorbs really nicely. And adding the water beforehand so making sure your hands are nice and wet actually breaks down starts to break down the oils at that point already so once it's on your skin it absorbs much more easily so by the time you get to bed it's absorbed and um yeah so i highly recommend this as a facial oil um it's a great pick-me-up um beautiful dewy skin at the end of it so yeah and last but not least, we have our Everyday Cream. This is a beautiful moisturizer that's light enough to use on your face and on your body. Um, I've been using this product for a long time now in a range of different climates, from dry, cold, bitter London to warm, smoggy Durban. It's held up in both extremes. I also love to wear this as a primer under foundation. So I find that it creates a really lovely canvas and makes the application of the foundation very easy. The foundation doesn't catch in any textured uh, areas. And also it just makes the foundation last longer, I find. Um, so great for that. It's an all-rounder moisturizer, um, lovely to use in the evenings as well. The highlight ingredient here is the Baobab oil which is actually in all three ingredients from today. So it's an amazing uh, addition to any step of your routine as it helps to actually um, hydrate and improve skin elasticity, keeping that uh, youthful texture of the skin. Uh, it also contains vitamins A, D, E, and F, all helping giving you that natural glow. And finally, containing antioxidants and essential fatty acids um, which actually help to 
um, naturally protect the skin against the elements. So loads of benefits there in all three products, which is really good to know about. Uh, application, you apply as much as you want onto your skin. So I'm just gonna show you here again on my hand, just a little bit. Um, this is also available in a smaller tub, but I do like the pump bottle. And once you start applying it, just a note that as soon as you apply it onto the skin, it might give a white cast, but with some gentle encouragement, it does absorb beautifully. And as you can see there, and there's a very slight sheen to the skin with it, but it's not overly glowy or dewy if that's not your thing. So this can go both ways. Um, depending on your preference but it's really easy to apply beautiful scent that's actually soothing you can smell the um, unique combination of fruits and seed um, and flower oils which all just yeah very relaxing um, i love giving this as gifts as well by the way uh, every person who's received it is such positive feedback from it but yeah you can use this then in the mornings as your primer or just as your daily moisturizer um, as well as in the evenings after cleansing, just to seal in the moisture from the day. And yeah, an all-rounder great uh, moisturizer to add to your collection. So yeah, um, that's it for today. Please let us know in the comments if you've tried any of these products or if you have any info to add or any feedback from today's video. And you know, if there's any information that I, I should have included or any questions that you have, we'd love to hear from you. But otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in our next video, which will be covering the last three products on my Skin Cream Marie shelf. So I will see you then. Bye bye.